Hey Virgos, thank you so much for all the love on your last video. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed, um, everyone that has commented, liked the videos. I appreciate you guys a lot. It's been really fun talking to you all. Love you, love you, thank you so much. If you're new here, I'm Rachel. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> we, uh, we channel here. <laughs> literally channel. Uh, I'm a shaman, so I work with spirit guides. I work with spirits in general. So sometimes I work with ancestors, mostly my guides. Sometimes other people's guides come through. Like I've told the other signs, it's usually personal readings where I'll connect with a spe specific person's guide. Um, it's harder with general readings just because, you know, several different people watch this. So usually those messages are kind of private but I do get ancestors every once in a while, but that's more so, that's more common in personal readings. Not always the case, but um, if they want to come through, they will. Okay, I have a few quick announcements. One, my dad is mowing the lawn outside. I don't want to continue waiting. I don't know why he keeps circling this room. It's driving me insane. It's driving me so insane. <laughs> I have ADHD, so uh, disturbances like that, especially like, noise disturbances are very very irritating for me so i get very worked up about them i try not to i'm not gonna go like make him stop mowing or be a brat about it but i <laughs> am going to complain <laughs> i will complain so i'm sorry in advance sorry for that okay other announcements i am going to start doing personal readings tomorrow i open back up tomorrow i do have a wait list right now so i am going to contact everyone on my wait list at some point tomorrow i'm going to stagger it a little bit so that i don't end up you know booking and then double booking i want to make sure that um you know i'm doing the people that got on the wait list first and then you know going down the list so you will hear from me at some point tomorrow i will try to have everybody you know booked before i open it up to the public so it may be thursday friday before it's up on my website sorry i'm drinking a red bull <laughs> um it's looking like I'm gonna be booked out till June right now, but you know, some people may have changed their mind. We'll see. Um, other announcement. People have asked me, this is not, I'm not, this is not a requirement. I'm not, you know, demanding this. This is just for people that feel called to tip. I've had a couple people, different people ask, so I'm just gonna put it in my description. If you feel called to tip me, I appreciate it a lot. It is, um, Thank you from the bottom of my heart for the people that have asked. I have a business, Venmo and PayPal, that I will put in the bottom of my description. <laughs> I hope that, that I hope that the lawnmower is not as loud as it is for me for you guys. I hope that is not. Hopefully, he'll be done soon. I can't. I can't keep doing this. It's stressing me out. Um, tips are, are very very much appreciated. I love you all any type of kindness that you guys show me i love um i appreciate a lot so yeah not demanding tips they're not necessary but if you feel called to do so that is in my description and thank you very much for the people that have asked me okay let's get started what do the virgos need to know this week spirit What does Virgo need to know? <laughs> I do not mean to laugh. I kind of want to just take all of these. Okay. Oh no. This is just, this is Virgo energy for sure. <laughs> Whoever I'm picking up on is definitely a Virgo. This is what you guys struggle with. It's, it's one of the shadow sides of the Virgos. Codependency. You and your sister sign Pisces are the codependents of the zodiac. It is because you are, you rule the sixth house of service. So many people with Virgo in their charts or, you know, heavy sixth house, they find their worth through being of service to other people. So if you do not have healthy boundaries, that becomes a codependency. And I will show you the cards that came out. First dependency and then ungrateful daughter and earthly mother. So this is, again, earthly mother, Virgo, energy, ungrateful daughter. Somebody is ungrateful for what you've done for them. Everything you need to soon after. Okay, 
bottom of the deck, sitting on top of the world, can't be caught, slimy, spirits to guide you, the hold, protect your heart. Yeah. I'm sorry, Virgo. Okay, what well, the cards that came out are dependency and then ungrateful daughter and earthly mother. So somebody has a codependent relationship towards another person that is a very inflated ego type person that feels like you need to kiss their ring. You need to, it is somebody that in the past you have tried to help, you have tried to be there for, you've tried to be of service to this person. Uh, nothing is ever enough for this other person. And it's gotten to the point that they've almost chained you to where you feel like you have to give and give and give. And with the tears here, they might use emotional manipulation. They might literally cry. If you tell this person, you know what, I've, I've given a lot and I need to pull my energy back, they might even like cry. This person, again, huge ego, feels very entitled, feels like you are supposed to be of service to them. You have manifested into this world to be of service to this person. Calm within transformation here. Your energy is being protected from this snake. They're a snake. Make it look like the night. Things may seem dark right now, but everything you need too soon after that, you are about to be brained down with blessings, Virgo. I get that you need to set boundaries with this uh, user. There's somebody that uh, emotionally manipulates you to take from you. So spirit is wanting to bless you and you might even feel like kind of dark right now because things aren't working out for you. It's because you need to set boundaries with this person. Sitting on top of the world, you're going to be sitting on top of the world soon. You're going to be overwhelmed with all of the abundance that flows to you but you need to release yourself from these toxic people. This is really similar to what came out for Sagittarius. You need to, can't be caught um, being free from energy vampires, people trying to steal your light. Slimy is a card of um, recognizing that you're in bad surroundings, that the people around you, you know, bring like muck into your life here that are, they're kind of like pests. Spirits to guide you. Your spirit team is trying to push you through this door to abundance. But somebody has a hold of your heart here. Somebody has a hold of you and they keep you in codependency. They demand stuff from you and they're very ungrateful for everything that you've done for them. They're never going to appreciate what you've done for them because they feel entitled to it. Protect your heart. You need to protect your heart from this person. They do not have your best interests in mind. They know that they can play on you emotionally to get what they want out of you, and that's what they do. And I get that spirit does not want this person, does not want your blessings to go to this person. So spirit is not going to bless you until, until you let go of this person. Like I was saying, you need to go off on a new beginning here. This person keeps a lot of secrets from you. High Priestess, the devil. This person is demonic. This person is very demonic. They almost feel possessive over you. Yeah, they feel like they deserve, they deserve your blessing. Six of Cups, it could be a family member, somebody from your past, maybe even a past life. They try to keep you tied to them with the hanged man because they know that you're very loving. Seven of Wands, you need to block this person out. Yeah, protect yourself from this person. They bring chaos into your life. Five of Wands. Nine of Cups, they are selfish. This person is toxic. They're all in devil energy. It might be a child here that you're dealing with. You know, an adult child that is very toxic and spoiled and feels like you are, you know, if they're not an actual child, they feel like they're, you're dependent that you are responsible for taking care of this person. Could even be a parent here or a baby mom with the baby energy here, baby mom and baby dad. This person keeps you tied to them with your good heart here. And they keep a lot of secrets from you. This person might use spell work. 
They might use some type of, you know, they might create soul ties to you. They, they might use sex magic, especially with the Ace of Wands. They might use sex magic, use lust to keep you tied to them, try to convince you, you know, do love spells to convince you that the lust that they force onto you is um, love here. You know, they might future fake with you, tell you that, you know, if you just give me more and more and more here, look at all of these apple cores, you know? I'm crying, I need you, I'm dependent on you, what am I gonna do without you? But it's nothing you ever do for this person is gonna be enough. This person keeps a lot of secrets from you. It, they might even pretend that they are struggling financially, but they have a super secret bank account somewhere where they are just stashing away money. Temperance. The angels are trying to, temperance is the opposite of the devil. This is excess, this is balance. You need to find balance in your life to get away from this devil energy. Stop allowing this person to manipulate you with devil energy. Yeah, queen of pentacles. You are not going to come into abundance because this person is not going to allow it. Any abundance that you receive is theirs. They intentionally block it. They might try to even try to make you financially uh, dependent on them so that they can control you. You know, if it's like a, a parent, it's a parent that feels like you need to live with them and take care of them. And they intentionally try to, you know, you have a big job opportunity. They're going to guilt you. You get a job offer out of state. Well, I can't, how, who's going to take care of me? You need to stay here. You need to intentionally shrink yourself so that I can be, you know, lifted up. You owe this to me. This person makes you feel, this person like acts like you are indebted to them. I'm sorry, Virgo, or, you know, cross watcher, whoever. This might be, you know, somebody that you're dealing with has somebody like this in their life. Can I uh, clarify ungrateful daughter, earthly mother, king of wands? Eight of swords. The sun. Yes. King of wands, Aries. Somebody knows, wants to take action towards what they want in life here. But again, they, because I, I don't get that it's a low vibrational king of wands, which it could, it could be somebody that, you know, is a masculine energy that manipulates with sex, um, that controls you with sex here, or, you know, um, cheats on you and tries to make you feel bad, tries to blame you for the reason that they cheat. But more so I get that somebody, it's like an Aries energy where they're, they know what they want they feel very passionate. They feel they it's like a spiritual energy almost. Somebody feels very like directed by source with the sun. And they're recognizing here that this person is just ungrateful and keeps them trapped. Eight of swords. And with the magician, this person might um, use spell work. This person might do like binding spells, controlling spells. Um, but they manipulate emotionally. Hanged man to keep you tied to them keep this person tied to them it might be a masculine energy yeah there's there's been a tower where somebody has something has been exposed with the sun here some sort of secret has been exposed and again it might be that this person secretly has like is not struggling financially this person is secretly doing just fine that they lied to this person you know told this person that they were struggling that they needed help this person is finding out that everything this person has told them has been a lie to manipulate them. Can I clarify a uh, column within transformation? Virgo, somebody is watching you on social media maybe and they're recognizing that they want to commit to you king of pentacles somebody's wanting to take action to commit to you it might be virgo that this is like a, a person that you're dealing with that somebody that you're dealing with has a karmic in their life that's you know this might be their energy and they are recognizing now that they need to protect themselves with a candor's can candor's 
candles from the snake. Something has been exposed here. Somebody has found out that this person had a lot of secrets that they were keeping and that secret has been exposed. Either way, somebody is watching another person online maybe knows that they want to commit now, wants to take action towards committing. Because two of cups, they know that you're their soulmate. Or, you know, this is you, Virgo. You have recognized a soulmate here. And recognizing that you were, somebody was keeping you in codependency and tied to them. And they were ungrateful and they were doing it to manipulate you. The hanged man here might have even been messing with you. Hanged man is Pisces. It's 12th house, the subconscious. This person might have even been like, messing with you subconsciously with spell work or, you know, um, an abusive person that was using your traumas to, you know, knew that you had, let's say that you are masculine energy. Your, uh, maybe your father, you know, was a cold person, hurt your mother a lot. So you grew up trying to console your mother. This is heteronormative, you know, it's just an example. You know, maybe you are a masculine energy that had a cold, mean father. So you spent a lot of your childhood trying to, you know, make your mother smile, keep your mother from crying. You know, you saw your mother crying, you were, you know, doing a dance or telling a joke to try to like make her happy. So this person, you may have even like told this person, you know, had some like deep pillow talk where you revealed you had these wounds to this person. So now this person knows that anytime you see a woman cry, you feel like you need to make it better. So anytime you tell this person, I don't want to do this anymore, I'm not happy here, this isn't what I want, this person, it's the rock waterworks start. You're going to abandon me. I can't believe you're doing this. You're just like your father, you know, that type of energy. But, you know, any type, take it how it resonates. Somebody was manipulating another person subconsciously. There was a masculine energy that was in and out of somebody's life here because they felt, they felt like they needed to focus on work, to work on themselves, and it made them hesitant to move forward. And they were kind of blind that they had met the star, uh, it could be Aquarius, but they met a soulmate here. Somebody did. There's a, I get that it's a masculine energy, but it, you know, it could be a feminine, take it how it resonates. I do get that there is an individual here that is attached to a, literally was chained to an ungrateful karmic that had a hold on them subconsciously, had some sort of mental hold on this person. So they met a soulmate, they might've even met the one, and they, uh, we're in and out of this person's life. Didn't take the person seriously. Could be a Sagittarius um, with the Knight of Wands. Maybe even told this person, you know, I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm looking for a hookup because they knew that they had this karmic that, you know, had this hold on them. Whatever the case may be, they felt like they needed to work on themselves, Eight of Pentacles, or they needed to level up with work. Maybe this person felt like they needed to get a promotion, needed to get a better job before they could really take a relationship seriously. It kept them hesitant to move towards something serious here. But um, whatever the case may be, whatever they felt like they needed to work on, it made them uh, blind. It blindfolded them to the fact that this other person um, was the one for them. Or they needed to heal with the star. That things were their destiny meant to be. Maybe this person with the Eight of Pentacles felt like they needed to work so hard to try to support this ungrateful person that acted, you know, pathetic, like they, they couldn't do anything for themselves. They needed this person help. So this person felt like they needed to, they couldn't be in a serious relationship with anybody. They couldn't really offer anything. And then you had to focus on work because of, you know, they had to provide for this person in some way. And it kept them blind from the fact that they needed to heal from this person. And when they met someone that was for them, you know, met maybe even met the one here, they didn't recognize it because they had so much pressure in their life that the Eight of Cups needed to walk away from. With make it look like the Knight, the Empress. 
Yeah, five of cups. Somebody is really sad. <sighs> they were dealing with a third party here, a mistress type energy. Somebody that the queen of wands in a low vibration is the other woman. So somebody here is kind of in a dark place and um, regrets their decisions, is really regretful because they uh, didn't take a relationship with the Empress seriously because the world queen of wands, they needed to complete a cycle with a karmic here first. They had a, a karmic that they were still dealing with and that had a hold on them. It was an energy vampire type energy. Somebody that put this person in a really negative state. Put them in really bad situations, you know? And now this person regrets it because they're recognizing that, you know, they had a soul connection with this divine feminine here. That this divine feminine would have brought them a lot of healing and that it was fated. This divine feminine was divinely guided to enter this person's life and they're recognizing that and they are remorseful now because they, they're, they're kind of in a dark place, honestly. This is kind of like a, a depression energy. But it only, it's make it look like the night, you know, that it, it's not as hopeless as this person feels that it is. They feel like the situation is hopeless. The Hierophant. Yeah, there's a soul contract here, Virgo or Cross Watcher. Whoever this masculine is, there's a soul contract with this Empress. So I get that it's not over with the Empress. It feels like it's over with the Empress, but that's because you need to break apart from this ungrateful person that has you chained to them and that has a hold on you. You need to protect your heart here. This uh, karmic that has this hold on you has a lot of secrets that they're keeping from you. They're not helpless. They, and they aren't like, if they try to act dumb, they're not dumb. What they do is very planned out and purposeful. They, they have a very uh, dark energy. They have a very dark demonic aura. This person is very dark that you're dealing with here or, you know, who your person is dealing with here. Yeah. Look, this person needs to make an offer towards a soulmate, a twin flame for four of wands, but this karmic was intentionally burdening them to stop them from it. This karmic knew that this person wasn't meant for them, knew that this person had a soul partner that they were going to go into union with, but because this karmic had this person wrapped around their fingers so well and could get them to perform, could literally make this person, it's like a, a puppet type energy, you know, could literally know exactly what to do to get what they wanted out of this person. They weren't gonna let that go for anything, not without a fight. This person might be into a tarot, but I get, they have a very dark energy around them. Tower. Yeah, tower is coming. You're going to cut this person off or they are because the magician, they're recognizing that dark spell work has been involved here. Yeah, they're becoming, um, if this is not you, Virgo, cross watcher, if this is your person, they're um, single. They're not in a relationship death card. Yeah, four of cups. What did I say? They rejected the karmic. They did. The karmic tried to come back around and they rejected them. That relationship is over. It might have ended with this uh, Polito transit with uh, the full moon because they know that they're in love and they don't want to let go. Yeah, turn of fate. Somebody has a has had a turn of, of fate here. Six of Pentacles. They have recognized that they are giving out time and energy to this person that didn't deserve it and that would never appreciate it. Somebody woke up to what was happening. Everything you need too soon. Can I clarify? The Hermit, which is your card. This is for you, Virgo. Nine of Swords. Somebody's anxious. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, which is another card for uh, Virgo. There is an offer coming to a uh, feminine energy here. Or this, if this is a masculine energy, an offer is going to come to you like without putting forth effort. A uh, queen is a feminine energy, which is um, the queen sits back and allows 
is receptive. Somebody has a blessing coming to them and it, it's, it might be overwhelming the amount of blessings that are coming to you. Spirit is saying you need to allow yourself to receive it. Allow yourself to believe that you are worthy of these blessings. You are worthy of this abundance. You know, it, it might be a huge promotion, a huge like opportunity that comes to you that you might feel like, I'm not ready. I don't know if I can handle this. It's a, uh, you're going to be overwhelmed. And with the love here, it might be that somebody comes into your life and they just pour affection over you and you feel overwhelmed because you're used to this demanding person that makes you feel kind of worthless and like you need to perform for their love. But the Hermit Nine of Swords, this is the Virgo. The Virgo is anxious. They know that they need to move on. Chariot could be a Cancer. They might need to move on from a Cancer or somebody has Cancer in their chart. They need to find balance so that they can move on in their life because there has been a lot of deception, deception in their life and I get it comes from this person. This person brought a lot of bullshit into their life. Lied, future faked a lot. I get this person feels very anxious towards relationships because they're not sure if that cycle has ended. They're, they kind of have a concern that what if I go into this new relationship and then exactly what happened in the last relationship? You know, that I, it's, at first it's really great. Then after a few months, it's like I'm giving and giving and giving and this other person, like nothing's ever enough for them. So somebody is almost blocking their manifestation a little bit because they're overwhelmed to move forward. Somebody has a, they might feel a little bit stuck in this betrayal. A major betrayal was revealed. A major betrayal was revealed here. And somebody is cautious to move forward because they're afraid of repeating the past. But spirit says that that's ended. That cycle is ended of being backstabbed and betrayed. You have blessings coming to you. Don't block your blessings. Don't prevent yourself from receiving blessings because you're worried that you're going to get betrayed again because you've learned a lesson here. From this betrayal, you have learned a lesson and you will, you know, discernment is good. You shouldn't jump into things without being a little bit skeptical at first and feeling things out because when you, you know, you have to find a good balance, chariot card, a balance, a balance of light and dark, you know, a balance of um, almost temperance energy where, you know, it's a balancing of not getting stuck in a, this is good to, too good to be true. This couldn't be happening for me, but also not jumping the gun without really looking into things first. You know, just because somebody offers you this amazing deal doesn't mean that you should just sign the dotted line and not read the contract, you know? But just because somebody offers you an amazing deal that you feel like is out of your range, that doesn't mean that it is out of your range. Maybe you're selling yourself short, you know? So it's an energy of, I would use discernment, Virgo, but I do get that you have a lot of blessings coming to you and you should not, don't get discouraged and think that things aren't gonna happen for you because you have been betrayed in some way and you have somebody, and again, this might not be the Virgo, this might be your person or a cross watcher, somebody that walked away from an empress to go back towards a very manipulative, toxic person that had a very strong hold on them, manipulated them hardcore. That person is experiencing a very dark place right now where they were, where they feel like I lost, you know, I lost this blessing because I was stuck in this situation. They're recognizing that and they're kind of afraid that that's where they are. So <laughs> whoever that is, it's, you have a, the Hierophant, you have a soul contract. So that relationship, whoever the Empress is, it's not over with the Empress. So don't get stuck in your anxiety. <laughs> I'm going to cut it off there because I could talk to you all day, Virgo. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I'll see you again soon. Bye.